Hello everyone, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. In the previous video, we had an introduction about the liquid dielectrics. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> In this video, we see the mechanism of its failure. Now basically as we saw in the in the gas insulation so there is over here in the liquid there is no proper that sort of a theory the book writes that there is no theory about liquid insulation failure as we will also see in the solids you have a proper time mechanism breakdown over there you have a stepwise failure mechanism over here in the liquids this is not the case so let's say we discuss the mechanism of failure of liquid dielectrics and over here we've got three mechanisms liquid dielectrics break down we have got three mechanisms we'll discuss each of them one by one in this video we'll, we'll cover all the three in this one video number one is the electronic mechanism and the electronic mechanism is what this is just similar to that constant type of a breakdown electronic mechanism in which what do you have is when uh, 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 you know an insulation is placed in between two uh, in between uh, two metal electrodes cathode and anode you know you have got a free electron now where does this free electron comes from so some electrons are already present right due to anisotropy due to non-homogeneity due to cosmic radiations so these electrons under the application of electric field will gain energy they will collide they will move in the field they would collide with other atoms they will produce more electrons and positive ions electrons would be present positive negative ions would be present what will happen under high electric field also electrons will be provided by the cathode material as we saw in the gaseous state so eventually what happens is that a very high number of electrons are present and a very high current happens to be present this process becomes cumulative you know this is a multiplicative process we've already seen in the gases right yes so energy gained in the presence of electric field is given by what the energy gained is given by q lambda e where q is the charge of electron e is the electric field lambda is the mean free path and what is the mean free path so this is the distance covered by an electron which is uh, you know before before another collision right similarly the energy lost uh, in collision is given by c h v is given by c h v uh, or this v this is for the velocity of electron h is for the Planck constant c is an arbitrary constant depending on the laboratory conditions which means what that for a smaller value of uh, voltage a small current would result for a higher value of voltage high electric field a higher value of current so this is under laboratory conditions so under critical condition to find the critical field necessary for the avalanche current this is equated and you can find out the critical value of electric field e critical or ec so this would be chv upon q lambda right yes yeah, so this would be that field required to to cause what to cause the avalanche current is that fine it is so uh, uh, the avalanche result in very high current and ultimately leading to breakdown now the thing is that this electronic mechanism takes place at a very very high electric field electric field is very high for this thing and this does not happen under practice this is only achieved under controlled laboratory conditions or you could say that this is only for the dielectric testing in practice this much of high voltages does not ex exist uh, occur on the uh, on the insulation right yes uh, so electric field is very high and the time frame for this electronic mechanism is very low and this is in the microseconds or in the nanoseconds range right so this is the same that story that tension type of a breakdown initially have you you have a few number of electrons they multiply by collision ionization similarly high electric field so cathode material is also supplying and you know ultimately increase increase and ultimately eventually a time comes that there is a very high current flows and that is called a breakdown so this is the electronic mechanism 
uh, that we did not go into very much detail. The second one is the cavitation or the bubble mechanism. Cavitation or bubble mechanism. Now over here I will write a few uh, points about the formation of bubbles. So you have seen that in liquids you will have, you, you can have a bubble. Right now, how is this bubble formed? So, you know, I would just write a few number of points over here. They are the gas pockets at the electrode surface. They may be the gas pockets at electrode surface. Then what do you have with this? It should be a, some sort of a thermal activity. Some sort of a thermal activity. Next is the repulsion of space charge to overcome the surface tension. Repulsion of space charge to overcome surface tension. And then you have what corona type discharges during operating conditions which produces localized heating. So corona type discharges which occur during the operating conditions. So anyways, formation of bubble is not my topic over here. I have a gas, I have a bubble in my, in my liquid dielectric. So once a bubble is formed, it means what? It has got, it will contain a certain gas. Most importantly, it will be air. So, the air will have what? The air or any gas present in that liquid dielectric will have a dielectric strength which is less than this, than this bulk dielectric. So which means that this will ionize. And ionization means what? That charges will be produced, positive and negative charges will be produced in this gas bubble. And by positive and negative charges production, I mean what then? That this positive would be attracted towards the cathode, the negative would be attracted towards the anode. Isn't it like this? It is. But now actually the bubble cannot physically move in the liquid as electrons move, as the positive or negative ions would move towards the electrodes, this bubble cannot move. Why? Because of the viscosity, because of the surface tension of the liquid dielectric. So eventually as a reaction due to the attraction of the electrodes, it will elongate. It will elongate. So have a look, plus, minus. So the elongation will cause what? Now if this has elongated, the bubble has elongated. So this will be now more nearer to the electrodes, which means more force of attraction. So hence it will be more attracted. It elongates to reduce its stress within the liquid dielectric within the bulk liquid, right? So elongation charge will get nearer to the electrodes, more, more attraction now. So more elongation. Now more elongation. Have a look. Eventually, eventually a time will come, eventually a time will come that this entire gap, this entire gap is bridged by the bubble and you have got what? You have got a low dielectric strength medium present in between the electrodes and a high current flows, a flashover will occur, a breakdown has occurred through this low, uh, low strength region. That is it. That is it. Bubble is present. The bubble elongates. It cannot physically move. It elongates. Elongates more charges. Elongates further. Further elongation and eventually bridges the electrodes a short circuit path why because the liquid is a high dielectric medium high dielectric strength whereas this bubble has a low dielectric strength so the current will flow through this bubble material now this is elongation this is one probability the other probability is the other probability is that the bubble may burst the bubble may burst when when it elongates it has ionized, positive and negative charges are present, it is being attracted towards the electrode, it may burst. Why it may burst or how it may burst, there is a possibility that 
this may burst while elongating so hence it produces a violent energy process and hence violent energy process means one hence forming more bubbles hence forming more bubbles in this uh, uh, and 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 now each bubble will act in the same way now each bubble will act in the same way so which means what that you have got uh, this are your uh, electrodes you've got a multiple number of bubbles form now what will happen now i told you they cannot move physically as the electrons or uh, or the ions would so the thing is that once one is let's suppose attracted towards over here so is dragged towards the cathode let's suppose so the second would be dragged towards this this first you have this positive negative so this one would be dragged over here which means you will have this sort of a scenario similarly bubble number three would be dragged over here till number two and similarly so on and eventually a time will come that the entire grab this is the anode this is the cathode the entire gap has been bridged a current will flow through the low resistance path that is this bubble or this gas filled path and this has a breakdown has occurred this is the second possibility this is the second possibility and that is it about the second mechanism number three is my suspended particle mechanism and suspended particles are what so these are the impurities suspended particles are the impurities present and they are in the form of fibrous materials number one and number two is conducting particles the fibrous materials are generally from the winding materials as in the transformer oil we've got winding materials in between the windings are mostly cellulose paper craft paper bakelite so their fibrous material due to wear and tear and with time they come into the liquid dielectric similarly the conducting materials are introduced from the metal tank or the metallic container that contains this oil so they are introduced into the into the liquid and they are randomly present they are randomly present now what happens is when you apply electric field charges will appear they get polarized they get polarized as a tiny dipole as a tiny dipole now let's suppose this is your uh, cathode this is your anode so what happens is that this is let's suppose a particle so plus minus they become polarized they act as a tiny dipole now actually they cannot elongate as the bubbles did they can move because they are you know some sort of solid particles in the liquid so what happens is that the positive is attracted to a negative negative is attracted to the positive so what will happen is that they start moving they are pulled by a force and what is that force so that is that drag force which is 6 pi eta r v where eta is the viscosity of the liquid r is the radius of curvature of this metallic particle v is the velocity so this is attracted towards uh, the, the 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 electrodes and and you know it it clings over here i will use a word cling so have a look this is a negative electrode so the positive surface like this positive negative this has clinged to the electrode you can you can imagine it right that 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 a substance has came and it has clinged it has attached became attached towards an electrode now due to this attraction what happens is normally the charges are uniformly distributed over here on the electrode surface but when this material clings so this negative charge over here at the negative end the concentration becomes high and when this concentration becomes high this produces a local high field this produces a local high field now due to this local high field what happens is that another particle another suspended particle in the vicinity will come over here and in the vicinity when it comes over here this will cling to this particle number one to this concentrated area so have a look this positive this negative now when this happens is that now the charge concentration over here would increase 
and similar is the case over here at the anode that the negative clings over here positive this is positive charged so the concentration increases over here what happens is that another material another particle comes and clings over here with a negative and a positive eventually you see eventually you see that a time will come that the cathode is you know extending towards the anode or in the other way you can say anode is extended towards the cathode in either case what happens is eventually a time comes that this is bridged you have a low material part these fibrous materials or these conducting materials have got low dielectric strength they are you know just waste materials you could say or, or, or you know yes waste materials so what happens is that a low resistance path is achieved and a high breakdown current and a breakdown occurs through the material and that is it that is about the that is all about the breakdown of liquid dielectrics you've got these three phenomena basically number one is the electronic which is a tension type of breakdown collision ionization electron multiplication and eventually leading to very high current the next is the cavitation or the bubble mechanism so the bubble elongates 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 and hence bridges the gap and a breakdown occurs or the bubble may burst producing more bubbles and they are you know attached to each other eventually forming a bridge between the electrodes and low resistance path is achieved breakdown similarly over here the fibrous materials and the conducting particles what do they happen they cling to the electrodes they physically attach to the electrodes producing a local high field at a concentrated point where the charge concentration increases and further particles get attached or clinged keep on clinging keep on attaching eventually you know bridging the entire gap between the anode and cathode and a breakdown path a short circuit path is achieved i hope you have understood you've enjoyed it you have any question the comment section is for you guys i will finish this video over here in the next video i'll try to talk about the transformer oil a bit how this process these processes happen in the transformer oil that is the major application or we may have a little bit of a numerical example so anyways till the next video take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye